So now that we've cleaned our solar panels, let's find out how our solar panel cleaning kit performed. So first I'd like to talk about what I thought really worked. The first item, bucket of safe tie is available year round on Amazon for the low, low cost of priceless. That's right. I said priceless because your life is priceless. But for right now, they're running a sale, and I think you could get this for about a hundred bucks, which is a sweet deal. Um, I found that the directions were simple. The product was easy to use, easy to understand. Uh, the the locking mechanism on the rope was pretty easy. Just grab and walk it down the rope. Um, all in all, I was very satisfied. It was easy to understand how to put the harness on, how to strap it down and tighten it down. There's instructions. The one thing that we didn't get to get into is the anchor, which is right here. There's a temper anchor, which you use to secure this to your roof if you don't happen to already have anchors attached to your roof. Um, but there are videos available online if you need to look that up, uh, and it doesn't look too terribly complicated. So I strongly recommend this. If you're ever gonna get on your roof, Please make sure you do it safely. I had a coworker that spent months in a body cast. I want to spend zero time in a body cast, and I want you to spend no time in a body cast either. So get you a bucket of safe tie. The next item that uh, I'd like to talk about that uh, I would say really met my expectations was uh, the hose. And there's a couple things about this hose. Um, one, it's 100 feet long. That's really what the benefit to me was if you need to go to a other corner of your roof and you have to climb down to go take your shorter hose off the spigot and go put it on a different one on the other side of the house if you're so lucky to have one it just this having a hundred foot hose where i can pull it up to the roof and i can move it any corner that i need to was really really convenient the other thing i liked about this hose is uh this braided sheath is real robust I have another 50 foot cable that's sitting down by my garbage right now, actually, because uh, it just popped. Um, I got the cheaper 50 foot hose um, and, you know, it, you get what you pay for, I guess. So I, I recommend this hose. It, it, it worked out real well. At the very least, if you're going to get on your roof and do solar panel cleaning, I recommend that you get a 100 foot hose to do so. The next item that I will say really uh, matched, I would say surpassed expectations, as you could tell from the video, was this. I didn't expect I was going to need it. I thought that this was going to be overkill, and it turned out I was wrong. Um, this was exactly what I needed. This is exactly what you need if you're going to wash your solar panels. It's a soft bristle. It's a, I, I was up there scrubbing. It never felt like I was causing any kind of scratching or any kind of damage to the glass on my solar panels. It's a really great product. Eversprout has a squeegee on this side, telescoping, highly recommend it. This is exactly what you need to wash your solar panels. On the other hand, on the other hand, this guy, um, I don't want to complain about it because the product serves a purpose. The purpose it serves just isn't cleaning solar panels. This is too soft. That's not doing anything. That didn't uh, help liberate any of the debris. Um, the stuff that really was caked onto my solar panels was stuck there pretty good. And this didn't do anything. This just kind of rolled right over the top of it. The squeegee, again, you know, it's fine. Um, but just not for this application. What it would be great for is washing windows. 12 foot, that's pretty long. That's just part of it. Other half, I mean. So if we wanna go window washing and you're cleaning a completely vertical surface that doesn't have caked on grime, this is perfect. And on top of extending 12 feet, it has other attachments that you can put on the top of it, other lengths of squeegee, 
and this articulating arm so you can change the angle if you so desire. So I'm not upset at the product. I don't need to take it back, but this isn't something that you would put in your solar panel cleaning kit. And the last product we're gonna talk about is the Snap Fresh Leaf Blower, which uh, got a little bit of play time um, and not necessarily in a favorable light. Um, so let me explain a few things about this item. Number one, does it belong in my solar panel cleaning kit? No. It might belong in yours. If you have a lot of loose leaves, that would certainly be a problem. You don't want to block your panels with loose dead leaves. That wasn't a concern with me. I had some real sticky grime that I needed to wash off. So this wasn't any use, but it was useful because I was up on the roof. And if you're gonna clean your solar panels and you're gonna invest in the equipment to safely be on your roof, you may as well take care of everything that you need to. Um, so I suggest having a leaf blower and taking care of your gutters while you're up there. Um, and then moving on to the lack of performance uh, on the part of this device, um, the battery didn't last very long. That's a fact. That wasn't entirely unexpected. Uh, I got a cheaper version because I don't blow leaves very often, maybe a few times a year. And I saved some money knowing that I was buying a bit of an inconvenience those times that I do blow leaves. It's not as powerful, although it had enough power to do the job I was using it for. And I had to plan around a uh, battery recharge. So, um, if that's not something you want to do and you want to have a beefier, better product for the job, we'll also link this product's bigger brother. And uh, that's going to give you a bitter, bigger battery pack with more power. It's going to last longer. Um, so you can definitely size up if you don't want to deal with that inconvenience. I would totally understand that. Something I learned very early from my mother, Music Mary, is it's always appropriate to thank the back of the house. Uh, and in this case, it's no exception. I hope to uh, surprise you with a few of the things I'm about to say about these items. Uh, to start off with, I was filming this whole thing by myself. And that would only have been possible with this gimbal uh, made by DJI and it was set to track my location and it followed me around and uh, but for this item I wouldn't have been able to film this as a one-man crew. Now something else I hope comes as a surprise to you is I've actually never filmed uh, or edited a video like this before and it wouldn't have been possible without this MacBook Air. The iMovie software that comes pre-installed on the MacBook Air is perfect. It was seamless. I actually had fun putting this together. It wasn't a frustrating experience at all. And finally, for a microphone, we used the AirPods Pro, which was great for filtering out background noise. You may have seen some airplanes in the sky. I actually live in the flight path, so these were great performed great as a microphone, highly recommend them. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you would, please like, subscribe, and switch to solar at evergreenoffgrid.com. Thank you.